The combination of the videotapes and we Met's testimony resulted in the conviction of two men on extortion charges. One of them was Frank Schweiz, known in syndicate circles as the German, a feared mob terrorist and a suspect in a number of gangland murders. He was described to me by other outfit individuals as uh, the most feared hitman. And uh, as he said to me, my reputation precedes me, son. Hi, folks. This is Red We Met coming to you on March 28th, 2022. There goes Mike already. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. George, thank you. How you doing? Outfit boss, you're here. Craig, South Florida, you're here. Ricky Delta, you're here. John Ramsey. Oh, it's cold out there. It's 85 degrees here today. Eat your heart out. <laughs> I'm not trying to rub it in, guy. Yes, do you like that? That's a thing in the background. If you'd like, I'd shut it off. You want me to shut it off? Scott, does it bother you folks? It's a new feature. So I thought I'd put it on. Keith Osborne. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Thumbs up. Okay, Anthony. Michael Graham, let's see how many dead relatives I can get to hit the button. They <laughs> don't live in Cook County. Alpha Boss, you like that music? It's a, it's a new touch. Well, it's new to me. I have several different things, but I don't really know how loud it is. I can't hear it on my end, but you can. It's all a lot different. A little bit lower, maybe. Okay, well, hold on a second. I'll lower it for you. How's that? Low enough? The Trucking Flamingo Bar. Live cam. Thumbs up from Anthony Demartini. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Gianni Russo. Yes, I had been talking about you. As a matter of fact, I'm not the only one that's talking about you. I didn't bring you up. It's everybody. They, I don't know. They watch you and Patrick's interview, and I guess you got around quite a bit. Ralph and Neckberg. Okay. Nice to see you. Thank you. Completely disinterested. For a guy that's completely disinterested, you have a lot of interest. Bill Crawley, good afternoon to you from Boca. I used to live down that way. I lived in Palm Beach. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the Michael Graham. The volume on the music is just loud enough to down just heavy, heavy breathing. Scott H says a big hello out there to Johnny Russo. Gianni Russo. Brian Glade. Hi, Red. Good buddy. Yes, Johnny, we heard that story. And the truth of the matter is, not many people believe you. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't there. You were. Jenny Russo must know. Heads up, everyone. What's up? Loomis Grin, the man that named <laughs> Red this day on my vlog, is in the house always. How you doing, buddy? <sighs> Outfit Boss, uh, if you tuned in just a few minutes ago and saw uh, Frank Kellevis Jr., he has the same opinion that I do. There are no bosses today. My thoughts on the Mob Vlog show? I thought it was very good. I liked it. Somehow, Gianni Russo, I don't think you're really Gianni Russo. <laughs> uh, Bobby Vega Donuts says, hit the like button. That's a very good question, uh, Michael Graham. So what did John Drummond uh, himself think about the on the show? I'm assuming you've talked to him since then. Yes, I did. I've talked to him three times, and barring unforeseen tragedies or things that will take place, he will be on um, on the 6th of April, which is a week from this Wednesday. Adam, you're here. <laughs> I just announced uh, that uh, John Drummond will probably be on the 6th, barring the 6th of April, which is uh, two weeks from uh, this Wednesday. This Wednesday will be, you know, the last one of this month. But um, John, uh, I spoke with John, and he said he'd love to be back on. He wants a rematch, so he said. And that's just the way it is. So, barring any unforeseen tragedies, he will be with us. And a great big happy birthday. It's your birthday, Adam. And everybody wants to know it. Michael Graham, John was a fantastic guest, and he has a way... Too many, you know, he does, he has too many too many stories to tell. He started going into me with them this morning. We we're talking about things, and it is the way it is. You're gonna get more John Drummond, Scott H. You will get more John Drummond sooner or later. We'll have him on, on uh, my vlog. You're most welcome. Hey, buddy, you're most welcome. A lot of happy birthdays for you here. Bill Kirschmeyer. Merry anniversary of the day you're in. <laughs> uh, have I been on Frank's tour? No, I haven't. I kind of stay down here where the warm weather is in Florida and where the warm weather was out in Las Vegas. <laughs> when it got cold, I got gone.
Now that is cute. I like that. You're in the waiting room. Okay. <laughs> That's a cute trick. I like that, Adam. I like it a lot. Question, Bobby Baker Donuts. Hey, Red, did you know about a Dutch bookstore at uh, 26th and Western? No, I did not. I really didn't know. I really didn't. Oh, you want to come in? <laughs> Welcome, Adam. There he is. Thanks, guys, for the birthday wishes, and thanks, Red, for the birthday wishes. And um, you guys can hear me now. Yes, very oh well. Oh my God, this is the first time. This is the first time that I've ever had this happen to me. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Let me make sure I don't have that on. Here, this is what I woke up to this morning. Okay, listen. Oh God, here it goes. Get ready. No, 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 no. Get ready. Listen, this is great. This is the best. Hey, Don Chichio, if you're watching, Don Chichio de Porzalo, if you're watching, thank you so much. That, that made my day. Like, I, I woke up and heard that in my in my voicemail. I was like, this is too cool. <laughs> it, it, I, it's better than my voice. <laughs> I <love> ah! to... <laughs> well, I got, well, well I, got, I got this. You guys can listen to this, too. This, this, is, this is great. See, I'm lucky. I'm lucky to have a lot of people that uh, are around me. And, um, you know, you should be lucky You're, for that. Anybody's lucky. It's not luck, Adam. You're yeah. loved. This is, all, this is You treat other people. The way you treat other people, you're loved. And who doesn't want love? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Adam. Happy birthday to you. Ah, and many more. <laughs> <laughs> See, to wake up and to hear these kinds of things makes my day. Thanks, Red. That was really You're nice welcome. of you. And please, God, don't ever sing happy birthday again. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I thought I was bad. Holy cow. I love you, man. You're awesome. Ah, uh, there's another one. They're all over the place. Everybody's saying happy birthday happy to you. Birthday. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Wow, even Gianni Russo said happy birthday, Adam. <laughs> I don't know that that's Gianni Russo. That's not Gianni think, Russo. Come I on, that's somebody that that's no. somebody that's somebody messing around. <laughs> Bill Crawley, 45, he's still a, a, a kid. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yes, Luminous. he was singing happy birthday, Luminous Grin. Luminous Grin. <laughs> oh, he was singing happy birthday. <laughs> Oh, what a day we have. Okay, I, I put in a link. I, Adam, in the bottom of this show, I put in a link for uh, your tours. And also, I put in a link for the last show that you just had today with uh, Frank Calabrese Jr. I thought Which people might want to see it. That was pretty interesting. People were interested in that show. Very much yeah. so. Hold on. That song is the equivalent of Michael Corleone giving Fr Frito Corleone the kiss of death. <laughs> hey, when I heard, when I heard, when I heard, um, heard uh, uh, Don Chichio, you know what could go through my mind? Chunk. What, chunk <laughs> walking up to the car. And he gets to the car and he's like, and there's these crazy people. And they got the thing in there. And there's a big beast there. And then the guy starts. Oh, da -da 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 -da. and you're talking chunks like, oh, and he freaks out. You guys remember that in Goonies? That's exactly what I thought when I heard that singing. I was like, oh my God. 
I was coming to haunt me from when I was a kid. Son of a gun. Thanks, Chain Weaver. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, we got, I, we got Chain Weaver. Who's yeah. Mike? Mike Craig and Hart. Craig liked the show, too. It's pretty good. So Mike, what do you uh, what, so what do you what do you what do you what's the topic today? What are you talking about? It's an open forum. Anybody who wants to ask questions, it's gonna be a QA. So okay. Whatever you folks want to talk about, we'll talk about. We may even do some laughing. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Um, um, um what is Redna's Day topic going to be this week? So that is a good question. That's a very good question. Damn we, had, good question. we had planned on doing a rematch through, with John Drummond. I called him this morning and he said he had to be out of town, but he would be glad to be doing it on the 6th of April, which is Wednesday, I believe. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Sure. But we'll get the thumbnail up. Don't worry about it. I'm putting up a video tonight, Red. Oh, that was. <laughs> You folks um, are gonna love this one. You really are. I'm gonna make more of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one. It was it was it was fun doing it, and I learned so much making it. Uh, outfit boss, Red, did I have any interaction with Frank Kellerbury Senior? No, I did not. I had no interaction with anybody in the Kellerbury family at all. If that answers your question. Although I did get a kick out of Frank talking about, I had, my question was, did he have any contact with Frank Schweiss? And he said, my father did. My father respected him. Okay. What yeah, we yeah, he did say that. Red is our, uh, Keith Osborne, is our current mob presence in the Chicago porno industry. Um, I don't know about the Chicago porn industry, but all over the world, there is a mob interest in it. They own it. That's the way it is, Jay. You think so? Even with the internet? I mean, you know, like yeah. the porn mob yeah, and all that? Stock. How they did it was they bought stock in it, and they own it. Okay. So Fair everything enough. that's uploaded onto the internet is through them. Oh, you my pay God. Them you pay them taxes through trivia. It's legal. <laughs> Not like back in the day. Hey, wherever there's money, they're going to be. You can't stop it. Oh, here's, here's Brian. He says, wear the suit. <laughs> wear the suit. Back to the suit. Back to the suit. Here we go. When mob guys smack their wives, Greg Hart asks in South Florida, when mob guys smack their wives and girlfriends around, is there a preferred style or method? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> preferred style or method? So, I don't know. <laughs> so, so Greg Hart, the preferred style of method, go ask Will Smith. <laughs> yeah, see? that's a good you answer. See? Hey, did he you might see be that? Hey, better than you. hey, Fred, did you see what happened last night in the Grammys or the Emmys or whatever? No. Did you hear about it yet? Oh, my no. God. So I guess Will Smith's wife, she lost her hair, okay, due to some weird condition or rare condition. And she even got on her, her Instagram or whatever and showed it and was like, no, and, you know, kind of laughed about it and whatever. Because you got to make, you know, light of your situation, I guess. Well, anyway, Kevin Hart. You know Kevin Hart? Yes. You know who he is? Okay. Yes. So Kevin Hart is on stage at the Grammys and said to Will Smith's wife, said, and I like the look. Were well, you getting ready for G.I. Jane 2? G.I. Jane 1, that mean more. She was shaved her head, right? So you're getting ready for G.I. Jane 2? Well, there was laughter at first, and then, oh, so, no, it wasn't. It was Kevin Hart. Art Rogue, double check your, your your stats, man. It's Kevin Hart. So your facts. Kevin Hart is like five foot one. Okay, he's shorter than Tony was. Will Smith is six foot two. Will Smith got up, walked up to the stage, and boom, bitch smacked Kevin Hart. Oh no, you, you heard the crack. 
<laughs> bitch slapped him right there on live television. Okay. His neck snap. <laughs> well, Kevin Hart stood there and was like, like, you stunned and was like, well, I guess this is going down as the best night in history. And that's when uh, uh, Will Smith yelled from his seat to the stage, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. And he screamed that twice at the top of his lungs, like a little kid having a tantrum. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And uh and and uh I'm this just gonna is gonna be on YouTube. I know this is gonna be on YouTube. No, 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 no. it is, it is, it is, it is, there it is. I'm so right here. It it is, and I'm gonna tell you this. No, it's Chris Rock. You guys are I'm so sorry, guys. You're right, it's Chris Rock. Hold on. Twenty five people have said it's twenty six. Yeah, Chris Rock, wait, guys. I, I'm sorry, got the Mandela effect going. <laughs> it happens to me every day. <laughs> oh, he's 5'10", so I guess it's all right. So Chris Rock's 5'10", and Will Smith's 6'2". Scott two. H, just, it was, it was so loud. He thought, he thought it was a punch. <laughs> it's crazy. It's insane. Art Rogue, who worries? <laughs> No worries. I I think he's referring to your mistake. Luminous Grin. Have you seen the news on YouTube with John No Nos meeting pizza? Join every yeah, we all have Luminous Grin, I think. Head him in names, nothing changes. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm gonna go. And this is Adam's disappearing trick. <laughs> uh, too much. Fucking much. Ugh. All right. So <laughs> now here it is. You want to see it, Red? Uh, yeah. Hold on one second. As long as we don't get demonetized for it. Wait a no. second. One comment I want to put up here. <laughs> Chris Rock, come. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Chris Scott, more, more votes than the like button. <laughs> you guys are something else. <laughs> So everybody's saying they think it's staged now. Yes. It's staged. That's what they think. It was for entertainment. Because they're now how did Chris Rock and Will Smith get talked about all day today after the Grammys? I'm not get up and take a slap like that in front of an audience for stage. For stage, I'd be slapping back. There'd be a brawl. Man. Let the weak heart leave the room. <laughs> Turn the lights <laughs> off. <laughs> oh. Art said it sure didn't look staged. Here, do you want to here? Do you want to take a look? Yeah, let's see. Let me it. show you. All right, here it is. Now this is this is supposedly off of a uh, uh, live television that was in Australia. This is uncensored. Oh, he did look happy. I'm sorry, man. Oh, <laughs> that ain't staged. This doesn't look staged to me, all right? No, that's not staged. That looks like somebody got mad. Yes. So, <laughs> Michelle, we rerounded. I hope you saw it at the, at the end. Wow. Chris looked like a fool. It's at let the him end. get away with it. It's at the end. I, you know, that's not the proper re response to a joke. No. Not at all. That's not the proper response to a joke. It just isn't. And this is a very good question here. Frank Ferrero, why would they stage and take that risk of negative reviews? Why would they? They wouldn't. 
Yeah, celebrities are celebrities, guy. You know, but celebrities do stuff for, you know, stunts. Look at that juicy Smollett. Come on, look at Frank Sinatra. He had to get bodyguards to keep him from slapping other people. Yeah. He had to get he bodyguards to keep him from slapping people? Yeah. He didn't have him from hurting him. He had him from slapping other people. He's slapping everybody all the time. He's a lousy drunk, so they told me. Oh, geez. Yeah, that, that's assault and battery. I mean, that's like literally... Uh... Unless, as Joe says, right here... Muhammad Ali slap. Yeah, yeah. if he slapped, it was, it was more than assault and battery. Assault was a deadly weapon. <laughs> Luminous Grin, you are absolutely correct. We would not be sitting here talking about this if they didn't. We wouldn't... Red and I wouldn't even have known that the Oscars even happened last night. I didn't you? know. I didn't, I didn't know until I got up and I was like, oh, look at this. Somebody got slapped at the Oscars. Like, I think maybe, maybe it is to get people to talk about the Oscars. No such thing as bad publicity, you know? Yeah, that's what Mo says. <laughs> there you go. No such thing as bad publicity. How so, you doing, Mo? That's not the that's not the Mo you're thinking it is. Right. No, no, no. I just say hi, Mo. But hello, Mo. Andy Kaufman would be proud. Douglas Schroover, yes. Right? <laughs> that's an Andy Kaufman stunt. That's how do I get everybody to look at me? Look at me. Right? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, Red. I'll tell you, Kathy Jean. No class. It is no class. It no is no class. class. Absolutely not. Not one bit. Mm -mm. <laughs> Great <Greg> art. <laughs> I like this. It's Nate Diaz Stockton slap. It's a Nate Diaz Stockton slap. Who's Nate Diaz? I don't know who that is. I don't either. Joey Ayupa, I work with Juicy Smollett, total garbage person, and that was before his stunt. Juicy, see that? Juicy Smollett. Isn't that, am I right? Yeah. Or am I right? That's how you say that, right? Juicy Smollett. <laughs> I think he means Jesse, whatever. whatever. But then I get, I might be wrong. I if agree you notice, with you 1,000%. The Oscars are just the liberal pukes in Hollywood, <laughs> I like your dressing your up and getting together. Yeah, yeah, it's a club, <laughs> and it's a big club, and I'm not in it, and you're not in it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I don't watch MMA fighting, but I get Diaz now. Okay, yeah, I didn't know who that didn't know who that was. Look at the things I learn on these shows sitting here talking with you guys. <laughs> An educational show. It sure is. Very interesting. So do we have any questions here, guys? Yes, we're all doing good, Brett. I think. I'm doing good. Adam's got his birthday here. 45 years what old. What is this? Nick and Nate? There's two of them? Nick and Nate Diaz? They're both MMA fighters? Are they brothers? I don't know. Unbelievable. See, I start to go look at something to learn about it, and I get even more confused. Uh, just smell it. I like it. Yes, Scotty. Just <laughs> smell it. God, what Scott a great H. God love you, Scott H. We all do. Okay, do we have any juicy questions? I was kind um, of amazed. I was kind of amazed when Frank Calabrese said Tony Accardo did to hit himself on Sam Giancana. That now that part where right there he said that and I you rolled I your eyes, you went up like this. <laughs> I no, no, I I because here's the thing, right? Here's the thing that I think I don't think anybody really knows. Now I'd love to hear why he thinks it because if it goes together somehow, I want to hear it. Because you nobody nobody ever thought that the whole Virginia Hill thing with her brother, okay, that that, that the brother shot. Benjamin Siegel. But when I heard it and they put it together like this, I went, oh, <laughs> no brainer. So I'd be, like to hear, I'd like to hear the, um, the, the argument. I'd like to hear the, I was know, the, there. The, I didn't see it. the only thing that I do kind of think is kind of odd about it 
is the murder weapon was recovered right there on Thatcher. Okay. It was recovered right there. So I don't think Tony Carter just threw it out the window. <laughs> but maybe that's not what happened. No, maybe we it. don't know what happened. We really what don't. He dropped know. it. What? What if? Who knows? No, Somebody no, was in a car with him, and he went to hit him, and the gun flew out the window. Who knows? Nobody knows. <laughs> right? It, it, it could be anything. But I would love to hear the theory. And and the only reason I like to hear it is because I think that all the listeners would like to hear it. You know, Thomas Chino is Adam working on any screenplays? No, but I've read one that's finished. And first episode, and it's good. And they're working on a second episode, and there's some heavy hitters looking at it. What can I tell you? That's all I know. Red, finished your book last night. I know why you did what you did. It takes major stones and discipline to attempt that. You're a stud. Thank William you, William. You're, you're a stud. Thank you. I'm a stud. Thank you, Bill. Butch or Tony did the hit, Ricky Delta. So, Butch Blasi could be Tony Spilatro. Possible. He lived right down the street, around the corner. I did the drive. It's not that far. Frank Schweiss, Frank Schweiss told me on videotape that Tony did it. That's on videotape. You have that? But that's Schweiss, secondhand information. But Schweiss and, 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 uh, and Tony were very close friends. I mean... They've been around each other for many, many years. Um, <laughs> Jim well, McAfee. Hold on, this is shot Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit. <laughs> <You shot Roger. laughs> <Roger Rabbit. laughs> other than Frank Collada and Frank Calabrese, are there any other living mob guys you would like to have on? Jim Magnifici. Well, Frank Collada is not living, number one, but you know that, and I know that Michelle was telling you that. But I'm sure that Jim Magnifici knew, knew this, 100% positive. Um, oh, yeah. And what he was meaning was, was is there anybody else that you'd like to have on besides, because you've had him on, and it's true. I dig it to 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 have Frank. I mean, to hell, this wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for Frank. So, um, but no, is there any other ones that I'd like to have on that are alive? Man, you know, I mean, if there's somebody who's alive that has some stories, let me tell you, I'd like to have, I'd like to have Oscar Goodman on. I would love uh, to have Oscar Goodman. Oh my God! Oh, you have but to the bring John, a martini the, plan. <laughs> the John Drummond, the John Drummond, the, that was cool. I want, I'd love to have John on multiple times again. I think that that was awesome. But um, yeah. Bush Flock has a question here. Go ahead. How did I first meet Tony Spilaccio? It was 1968, and there were a bunch of people at American Bonding, and I was in there with Kurt Hansen. And he just happened to one of the people that was there. Um, Milwaukee Phil was there. Um, Tony was there. Um, Irv Weiner was there. Joy Lombardo was there. there. There was a whole cast of people that were there. So that's the answer to your question, buddy. Hope that it does. I hope it does, too. William Kirchmayer, do you feel that Frank, James Kahn's character, had values and rules similar to your own uh, from the movie The Thief? We watched that together. Yes. Um, I missed the question, but the movie Thief. Uh, yeah. Did you, did you feel that Frank, the James Kahn character, do you feel that he had... Uh, values and rules that were similar to your own to my own yes no okay no 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 he was he was totally he was a thief oh yeah i mean you weren't a thief my rules were a lot different i know you just got age but guess what i think john drummond can give you more stories than i can man i, I would love to get that that interview that John Drummond had with Larry Newman, oh my God! If we could get a copy of that, holy cow! To play, that, I'm sure if you awesome. asked him ahead of time, he'd, he'd he'd dig it up. I don't know, Brian. Did I just dig my ear? Did I do that on camera? Sorry if I did. 
I don't think to eat it too, you know? Oh, God. No, I don't think I who have. Who drank the German partner in crime? Was it Wayne Bach? I think you said who was. That's what you meant. And Ricky Delta, Wayne Bach was one of them. And probably his major one if he was going out on a hit. As Bill Romer said one time, when you saw Frankie and Wayne together, they were usually at a construction site. And they had par so par Parabell and Mike's couldn't pick them up. And they put their hands over their mouths like this so nobody could tell exactly what they were saying. Scroll up and down on my question. Uh, Northside Drive. Okay. I'm doing it, guy. Northside Drive. I'm your name. Here we go. If JL stayed out of prison in the 80s, once the Yupa and Sarone went away, would it have become a boss with Tony and Michael lived? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Uh, JL would have called out all the troops, everybody, and made them stand in line, and, and they wouldn't have pulled what they did. Carlisi would have never pulled what he did. Nobody would have ever pulled. Ferriello wouldn't have done it. Nobody would have done it. Joy was powerful. So Northside Drive, I hope that answers your question. I tried hard. I scrolled up. <laughs> Mr. Jamez, basement full of files on every view he ever did. Infamous. Yes, he does. Thank you, Anthony. Scott H., the great interview. Maybe we'll break it. What's to say? Maybe, maybe he will break it down and play it back. Yeah, he might. Who knows? Oh, break it down as you play it back. I see. Yes. Michael Graham. To me, the most logical explanation for killing Sam Giancano is Butch left in the basement door open for Tony. I agree, Michael. I think somebody left that door open for him. If it wasn't Sam Giancana, it could have been Butch. I agree with you, Michael. Hmm. Do I remember Art Patak? Bill Crawley, do I remember Art Patak? If so, do you think he was as good as John? Uh, John, I, I think you're talking about John Drummond. John Drummond was on TV. Art Patak wrote an article for the Sun Times, I believe, and Art was very good at what he did. Um, he wrote some nice articles about me. He never beat me up, you know, in his articles uh, verbally. Uh, he was a great guy. Outfit boss. <laughs> Red, you should write a book about Frank Schweiss and call it the most dangerous man I ever met. That's probably true. But I can only talk about my interactions with him and not his early life. It wouldn't be like a whole biography. I just couldn't do that off at boss. Jim Magnifici, just watch Anthony Marchetti's street story on Article Massacre and the car dealership. Do you remember that, Red? Yes, I do. I remember that when I was a kid. I remember uh, the Foreman Motors. Ben Foreman and um, Anthony and I have, I, I don't know, maybe I i remember it just a little different than he does uh, from the articles that they put in the newspaper because on television at the time, uh, it was alive. They stopped everything. They stopped everything so they could show it, you know, like a mini cam. And uh, kind of like in Dog Day Afternoon, the movie Dog Day Afternoon. And the guy actually held a shotgun to his head. The article said the police officer killed him. There was a black guy in there at the time, and he was pleading for his life. He was actually pleading for his life after he killed uh, two of the foreman sons. And uh, uh, the black guy said, look, I got a wife and kids and everything. And he was black. And uh, according to the article, he had terminal leukemia. But he let the guy slide and wound up getting killed. Microphone static coming through. 
Keith Osborne. Yeah, are you guys hearing that too? I'm hearing that on Red's end. <clears throat> you're you're getting like a choppiness uh, on the mic. Are you guys. Okay, I'm gonna make or? an adjustment. I'm gonna make an adjustment on the music. Is that what's going on? Because yeah. I don't even hear music. Does that help? I don't know. Keep talking. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Does that help? <laughs> I heard one little crackle in there. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Well, I'll let you know if it, if it went away or not. Okay. Bill, uh, Bill uh, Kirschmeyer, John Sherman's reputation is easily attained. Just tell the truth no matter what. That's it. Like Willie Nelson said in the movie Thief, lie to no one. If it's a friend, you're gonna lose you're gonna lose them with a lie. If it's not a friend, who the hell are they? You gotta lie to them. And that's the yeah. truth. <clears throat> Bill, it might be just your uh, on your end because I don't hear it. Do you? Yeah. No, no, it's it's yeah, you still have it going on. Try to try try leaving the studio and jumping back in. Try to reset it. See if that works. Leave studio. I don't want to end broadcast. How do I leave studio? No, 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 no. I'll stay. The, I'll keep the broadcast going. You just click leave studio, reset, and then come back in. And he's gone. And that's how Red disappears. And now Red's gone. So we can talk about him. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, you have too funny. Snap, crackle, and pop. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get this fixed up. There he is. He's back. And you're back. How's that work? I don't know. Talk for a few minutes. Okay. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Roll, roll, roll. roll a joint. You're posted <laughs> at the ends. Yeah, it's kidding. our trip to Hawaii. It's a trip back. <laughs> they gave us a rowboat. <laughs> yes, it's got you. It fixed. It fixed the problem, Rod. You sound fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for. Uh, thank you for telling me about it, guys. It was a. Uh, I think it was Bill. That told me about it. It sounded better. Frank yes. Frank. Looking back. Now, up now he's got the crackle. Got the crackle. Okay. <laughs> so here um, we are. Did Uncle Frank rock? Uh Come on, Rock. Everything's rolling by too fast here. There we go. Is Frank alive and still Adam Red? Is Frank, Frank Uncle still? I don't know if he had any uncles. Uncle, Uncle Frank, Ricky Delta, are you asking if Frank is alive? The No, I'm sorry. No. No, I, I wouldn't think so. Ricky Delta, I'm sorry. I mean, Frank was 81, right? Yes. Is Frank right goes <laughs> messing the audio? Bill, I don't think so. <laughs> Nora made sure to that. She had him dug up. <laughs> What? <laughs> Nora Schweiss. She was doing a mob uh, wife's thing. So she had are you talking about, you, I thought you were talking about Kalata. You're talking about Frank Schweiss. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All these Franks. We got a lot of Franks, guy. There's this Frank, that Frank, the other Frank. Frank over here. We got Frank Calabrese. We got Frank Kalata. We got Frank Schweiss. We got more Franks. Frank, than that, too. Frank Rosenthal. You Frank Bluestein. You know, I mean, there's so many Franks. Home at home. Here. He's talking about Nick Calabrese. Unless he's talking about a Calabrese. Oh, his uncle. That's what he's saying. Is his uncle still alive? Oh, Frank his Calabrese. uncle. He's talking about Nick Calabrese's yeah. uncle, Frank. Um, yes, he's still alive. I, I think so. Yeah. I, I don't oh, yeah. quote I know. Yeah, I, just, I'm a, if, if Fred knows, I know he's alive. Michael Graham. <laughs> Let's not be about a few crack <laughs> crackles and pops. It's like listening to an old album on Skippy Needle <laughs> and a turntable. Thank That's you. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. It does. That's exactly what it sounds like. A little 
hisses and pops every once in a while. Okay, we have an answer, a question from Northside Drive. Will you have a Joe Colada? Will you have Joe Colada on a on a Redness Day? He has lots of it off it now. I don't know. I'd ask love, him. I'd, I'd, love to, I'd love to. The only way it's going to happen is if I go to Chicago. <laughs> he doesn't no, it's do the only it. way it's going to happen. I, it's what he said last time I asked him. He's like, well, next time you're in Chicago, maybe then, oh. you know, maybe then. Scott H., uh, you're correct. Uh, Nick is, Nick Calabrese is in Witsuck. John Drummond was not only one of, one of a kind, but respected everyone, including the outfit guys. He sure did. As a matter of fact, I pointed out to Adam that when he was talking to Walter Jacobson, he turned around and said, um, uh, well, I just filled in for Bill Curtis. And he said, well, thank you. Walter Jacobson said, thank, thank you. And he said, and... Next week, it's, it's out to, what do you call it, the, the Spear Carrier. He, did, he didn't say Spear Chucker. He said Spear Carrier. Well, that's going to get you demonetized now, won't it, Red? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that was his way of saying something. That's a common phrase. That's not oh, yeah, to this is going to need a review. This is going to need a manual review. <laughs> manual review. I see it in your future. I'm not even Kreskin. The great Karnak. <laughs> Uh, Bill Kirschmeyer, how was street cash, uh, the street uh, tax levied? Well, they'd look at how much you were making or how much you would possibly make, and then they would set a price, and that's how it was, uh, whatever the market would bear, how much, how much they could ever get out of you. So you just had enough to survive, and meanwhile, they could get their piece to the pie. That? Uh, that was me. I'm working in Photoshop and I just okay. did something. Yeah. Michael Graham. Adam. Yo. You may have pissed off too many relatives of the old outfit guys. You come to Chicago and the only clue the police may have left of you to investigate is a floating cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> only... Michael, you're the greatest. Mike, Michael, is that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you're you know, most welcome. You're both you're most welcome, Bill. Yes, Mr. Yuva. <laughs> Every time I go live, something comes up. Uh, How about the thumbs up? Give me a thumbs up, guys. Come on. Hit the like Show button. Guys. Hit the like button. What's going on? Show me some love here. I think I finished. You finished? I think I finished my thumbnail. Let's see. Adam, what is the nicest yeah. thing you've got for your birthday? Uh, a big, giant birthday kiss from Allie. Ricky Delta wanted to know. And I got I got to say hello to all the... All the uh, uh, all the uh, prescribers and there were a ton of prescribers on today. And um, that was just, it's been a good day all around so far. Can I say Adam, only thing told, we can make it better. And Shoot Adam, you told, you told me Monday was garbage. Monday is garbage. That's what you told me. Not Monday. Oh man. This whole week, this whole week sucked. <laughs> yeah. Adam's vehicle broke down. So oh, man, the tours are explain it to him, Adam. I don't want to. My heart, oh, is, my man. heart won't take it. Yeah, no, the, the 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 drive shaft coupling cracked, and I felt this vibration, and I took it into the dealer. Now, here's the thing: it's my own damn fault because they sent me a recall on it like four months ago. I didn't take it in, and then, <clears throat> sure enough, 
I feel this vibration. I'm like, ah, I know what this probably is. So unfortunately, it took him a few days. But you know what? It gave it got me my birthday. I've never taken my birthday off of work, which is probably why I'm sitting here right now because I feel like doing something because I don't know. It's to me, it's just another, you know what I mean? Another day. So you want to, you want to see what I, you want to see what I, um, you want to see what I made? Brad? Go ahead. Show the folks. Give them a preview. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. So, um, YouTube channels. Here it is. Al Capone. Here, here's what the next, this is the next video I'm putting up. Are you ready? This is what I'm going to put up next right here. See, pretty good thumbnail, huh? Yeah, it is. It's great. So, by the way, whoever said I, somebody suggested my thumbnail. I think it was Scott H. He said something about my thumbnail. Guess what? Adam did it for me. Adam oh, did that thumbnail for me. I put that together quickly. Yes, you certainly did. I, as a matter of fact, I was laughing. Uh, because <laughs> I had a couple drinks. I had a couple drinks last night, and we were talking, and I said some things that Adam thought were funny, and he said, "Yeah, I, I, I let you use my stream yard. Anthony D. Martini makes you thumbnails, intros, whatever, and you're not <laughs> grateful." And I said, "I am grateful." <laughs> <Stop> <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Oh, you know how your tongue slips the wrong way when you're drinking? It does it when I'm not drinking. Can you imagine when I'm drinking? Uh, that's too funny. John Ramsey. Interview on, on Reddit. You'll, what does it say? John Ramsey. Hey, Adam. Larry Newman interview is I'm on really Reddit. You'll be surprised to see how he sounds and didn't sound like a, a street guy. guy. No, I heard that he was very educated. Um, Frank said that he didn't sound like a uh, uh, like them. He, he didn't have that Chicago thick, heavy accent. Um, he was a well-spoken individual, although I've never heard. I've only seen him on one interview where he's sitting. It's yellow in the background. And he's in jail here in Vegas. And he's saying, uh, you know, that Frank's got, he got nothing with Frank Collada. And Frank Collada doesn't know anything. And, you know, they don't. So I heard that one. He only talked for maybe 20 seconds. Pete Bryan, obviously you didn't read my book. But uh, the truth of the matter is what happened was, I made arrangements before I even rented the store or the storefront to be extorted. It, it was just permission so that the building didn't blow up. I didn't get my legs broke, didn't get shot, didn't get hurt. I, Pete, I just thought that was the best thing to do, Pete Byron. I hope that answers your comment. Tabin and Misty. Hey, Misty, how you doing? Playlist. Okay, we don't have any questions coming. <laughs> we got to do a filler. Right, you don't have any. No we questions. Got five, five minutes I, uh, to go here, but Scott H says. Uh, Frank Collada said Larry Newman had a high IQ. Yes, a lot of people said that. He just had a sociopathic murder thing. He liked to kill people. That's all. Yeah, it was nuts. Nuts. <laughs> it was nuts. I would say so. New TZ. Rick Carlton. Then he was cool. Cold. Cold. Okay, Rick. I didn't meet him, so I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. 
Oh, this is one. Red, Ricky Delta. Red, you, Adam, and Frank, and John together on the show. I'll keep my mouth shut through the whole thing because that's too much. John Drummond? Yeah. It's too much. When you put too many people on at the same time, how you it, you can't. You, you, that's going to be off, a part of our show. That's what I'm saying. It, it, it's you. You have to have a subject and a subject matter, or a, you know, you, you know, if it's a podcast, you know, maybe people will listen for a couple of hours. I think Joe Rogan's proven that. Uh, you know, the, the, with the length of the podcast that he puts on, so. But you got to stay within some realm of something, and if you have too many people, it's just it's too much. Spotlight's got to be on somebody. Yes. It's got to, if it's too many, it's, it gets overwhelming, especially if you're yeah. listening, only listening. Cause then you're hearing just the voices, too many different voices are confusing as well. Cause you don't know who exactly sometimes. Here's a good one. Full of oh, yeah. Did the mob send anybody out to Vegas to replace Tony after they called him back to Chicago? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Everything was kind of changed totally <laughs> Michael Graham Urban is smart enough <laughs> to get pre-extortion permission <laughs> that you're right that's what it was pre it was an insurance policy yeah you go and ask ahead of time so that you don't you know burn your place down whatever Pete Byron says, you're, bu you're buying my book. Thank you, Pete. Thank you so much. You'll like it. I'll autograph it to you. If you get it, redwaybet.com. It'll be at the uh, bottom of the prescription. What do they call it? The bottom of the description of the story. But it's also on redwaybet.com, and it'll go right to it. Uh, joke of the day. I got to listen to this one. Why can't Barbie get pregnant? Why? <laughs> because. Why? <laughs> okay, Bill. Because <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Yeah. Because Ken comes in his own box. Oh, my God. That's so fucking. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Mickey Griggs, wow. what are you doing? <laughs> uh, you guys oh are so close. Come on, hit that like button. Because <laughs> Johnny Rizzo, I don't think he ever was. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to go back to the music, guys. I'm going to see if I can put a little music on here. Okay? Go ahead. And... There we go. Do you hear it? No. Well. Hey, Rick Gallen here. Or Shelton, excuse me. Did y'all know where... There was a plot to kill Kennedy in Chicago. Yes, it was well publicized. And then there was also a plot to kill in Miami, too. Bill Kershaw, here you go. You kind of mess this up. Where seeks its own level? I think you mean water. <laughs> Do I think Nick Leggy is available for a show? No. I don't think he's available for show with anybody. No. Nope. Sure no. Sure isn't. Sorry about that. No. I've tried. I've tried. And I really mean I've tried. <laughs> Foolish flock. Do you ever think Jay Hoffman will be found? Well, if it is, it's going to be in fragments. And I doubt it will be. I really do. 
John O. Are there any Ukrainian mob in Chicago? Yes, there are. Go down to the Ukrainian village on Chicago Avenue. You'll see lots of it. It's there. Mickey Griggs, you're absolutely right. You did come in at a crazy time, <laughs> but then again, it's always crazy. I love you guys. Greg Hart, will they ever find Chris body before Hoff? Christ body before? <laughs> probably. Probably, guy. I put money on it. Oh, yeah, this is a live one. Yeah, we'll, we'll see Johnny Russo and have him come on the show, Bill. We'll see if he can come on. <laughs> He's the butt of every joke around here. We're going to have him on the show, right? I don't think so. Uh, too much. too much. Too much for me. Everybody, maybe have Rudy Giuliani on. Have Rudy Giuliani on. That's fun to say. Have Rudy Giuliani on. Johnny <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now I can hear it, Red. There we go. <laughs> Rick Don't make me Will Smith, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, God. You know the most interesting man in the world commercials were based on me. Thanks, Gianni. I don't know about that, but I can tell you this. The most interesting butts of jokes are you. <laughs> really, seriously. Too funny. I think I've been putting this video up as soon as we're done, Red. I just got done tagging it. <laughs> I don't blame you. Red laughs, man, but it's actually it's actually really cool. It's it's a good video. It, it's really a neat video. I'm not tooting my own horn here. Great heart. No, I'll toot it for you. Uh Greg Hart in South Florida. Maybe the suit and some card tricks. Okay. Get off the suit. Or get the moose on the wall. Silence is deafening. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it is. Dead air is just terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Live air, dead air. What's the difference? I don't know, but you you know, your channel keeps growing. I mean, more and more people on this thing that are watching. It is. It, it really is. I thank every one of you. I really do. But I'm I'm still begging you. I'm begging you. Hit that like button. <laughs> <laughs> I can't all that stuff. Cry card, I you think look, uh, here we when go. you start your sh shows, I think you got to start by rebooting your computer before you start your broadcast. Because I still hear that. Uh, you know what I did, Adam? What I did was I, I didn't hit the loop. Yeah, on the bottom, oh. the sound. I hit the loop, but not the sound. Oh. Adam's teaching me. He's he's my mentor. I've had a lot of them. You know, the the this what you're able to do is pretty uh, damn cool. Good you know question. what? Don't tell me it. Foolish flock is a good question here. Are the New York and Chicago families connected in any way? Only one way that I know of, and that is the Genovese family. Uh, actually speaks for the Chicago family, which I don't think they're speaking for them anymore because there's no leadership. <laughs> right. Anthony, you guys channels are doing great. I'm about to give up. I'm like, don't give up, Anthony. Come on. Oh, man, Anthony. On, what is, what's Anthony saying? He says he's going to give on his show his, his doing channel. great i'm about to give up on mine you're not doing bad anthony do you have two buddy up. anthony go ahead go ahead Ed. do you have two buddy anthony because if you have two buddy yeah. who said yes 
I swear I to God. Should, yeah. Oh, Anthony, 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 I have to Too tell you I want, I want to give you a special thanks for the uh, for the intro that I did today. Uh, the new the new intro intro two. I love it. Nobody, nobody but you could do that for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Oh no! Here we are. We're depressed. No two, buddy. <laughs> no two, buddy. So that'll help you a ton. That's if there's one tool. If there's one tool that I suggest is TubeBuddy. It it will help you. It'll it'll actually tell you what tags to put on your video, and it'll rate them. It'll tell you how high on a list of ones. Watch a YouTube video about it. It's good. This is something, really? JW. It's what uh, changed my guys channel. Some, you guys should try and get some old politicians on your show. You know we'd like to, except they're all in prison. <laughs> <laughs> all in prison um yeah yeah you got the point here brad i would think the mob would have its uh statute of limitations but anyone who has <laughs> well towards you is dead in the joint you're right I don't think they're even in the joint. Nobody has any beefs with me right now. Yes, they did. The Alpha did have a favorite mayor, and it was Mayor Daly Sr., who died in 1977. Why that is was that? The, that was our favorite mayor because he had a rule you guys do whatever you want to do. Just don't involve me in it. If you get caught, that's your business. And that was a smart rule. Yes, uh, Trump did pardon uh, Governor Thompson. And the truth of the matter, or Gavoyevich, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. <laughs> Bill Thompson. Um, he, did, uh, he did pardon him, but I really don't think he'd want to be on our show. Here he goes with the jokes. No beef for red unless it's on a sandwich. <laughs> it's got to be Italian beef, too. <laughs> Sean O. Frank Calabrese Jr. Unfortunately, he has MS, and we apologize for his private tours last spring. We enjoyed his tours. Not apologies. Excuse me. Last spring. Thank you, John. Oh, that's a wonderful thought. Thank you for expressing it. Uh, Cassie Jane, thank you, Red. Thank you, Joey. Who are you thanking? Which Joey? I, I missed something. Thank you, Red. Thank you, Joey. Um, um, Joey. Joey Joey Ayupa, oh, okay. Jackie Jean. Okay. Yes, Daly was my guest. She's yes. thanking him. They're having side talks over here. <laughs> yeah. Goes on every show. Every show. If you're not in the comments, you're not in the show, you know? Because you everybody, it. it's crazy how we sit here and talk and how everybody would back and forth in the comments. It's just insane to me. Look at Foolish Flock just subscribed to uh, Street Stories. Anthony, you got another subscriber. There you go, buddy. Right. Hope that Don't give up. up. Anthony, don't give up. <laughs> don't give yeah, up. You, we your videos are too good. Your videos are your what you put together is too, is too good to stop. Keep going. You're gonna it'll 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 pop, but you should look into Tube Buddy and see if it can if it can help you. I'm sure it, it can. Really can. It really can. Uh, it really it does. Watch a video on what, what exactly you can do with it. What's on here? Don Berlin. Greetings and salutations from work in Guantanamo. Quantico. Excuse me, not Guantanamo. Semper oh, Fi. Don Berlin? Yes. Don Berlin? Yeah. Yes. 
Semper Fi, buddy. Always, always faithful. Okay, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Come hit the like button. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> oh. Well, if you want to talk about appearances, I guess she might be. I've seen worse. I can't remember when, but I have seen worse, Craig. <laughs> Lori Lightfoot. <laughs> he says she's the ugliest woman in politics. Well, I have seen worse. I don't want to mention her names right now. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky Della. Thank you, Sonny. For hitting the like button. I really appreciate it. Yes, this would be this would be it. Michael Graham. Just like the Academy Awards, Adam getting slapped in the face by Gianni Russo on his birthday. This kind of publicity for this channel needs. <laughs> yeah, we need this guy. That's what that's what I'm doing. No, I don't think so, guy. <laughs> Sorry, was reincarnated as a mosquito and bit me on the arm. Bit you on the arm? I don't think so. Thank you. Nice joke, Pete. <laughs> Pete Byron. Here we go. What do I think? Okay. Do you think any U.S. attorneys were on the take during the high point of the outfit? I can tell you they weren't. They really weren't. Those people were dedicated to barracudas. I mean, they went after everybody. And they certainly weren't on the take. No doubt in my mind about that. G-O-F. <laughs> I didn't say your name because it's, it's uh, G-O-M-F. You told me your name before. It's a short name. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, we want to not try to uh, subscribe to stream. Sorry. There we go. RV Doc. Uh, that's kind of a joke, guy. Uh, no, I never did get into a physical fight with the German. But we did have some uh, some words back and forth, screaming at, at each other many times, and uh, usually I came out on top. He finally get mad or uh, calm down. He start laughing. And he said, "Red, red, 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 calm down. Red, take a pill or something. Do something. Red, take a pill. Relax. Calm down." <laughs> a good question that I've never answered for. No, wait a second. Uh, where's it at? It's up. There we go. Red, did you ever meet with Frank Collada or ever see him in Chicago or American Bonding? No, I did not, Keith. Keith Osborne asked that question. Uh, he was talked about, but I never saw him. Never did meet him. As a matter of fact, first time I even took notice to him was on Adam's show. My vlog. Must know how we're doing. I'm doing good. Adam's having his birthday. It's 45th. 45 today. Big 45 goes out with a bang. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Man. I think it's done. Well, folks, it's time to say goodbye. Or not goodbye, goodbye for now. Goodbye. And, and this is the end of our our uh, March 28th, 2022 live show. It's been great being here with you. I want you, I want to thank everybody. I also want to thank everybody that wrote a review on Amazon for me. It helped a lot. And also want to thank all you folks about my book. Thank you so much. And God bless you. 
Have a great evening. Bye. Bye.